What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about my 29th annual surf camping trip, which a friend of mine has coined Camp Clemente. Now before I forget, if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell, it helps the algorithm. Also, if you want to actively support the channel, there's a thanks button where you can donate to the channel. Now a very special thank you to some that have already donated. Daniel, Brian, James, Fox, uh, and one that I can't pronounce that I'll just put on the screen. I really appreciate you guys, uh, the support, uh, and you know a lot of the comments and messaging you guys do. It's very, very uh, inspiring and makes me want to keep going. Uh, if you want to passively support the channel, please let these videos play out because it does help out the algorithm. Now, I started this trip back in the mid 80s in high school when my friends and I used to drive down uh, and surf church. And then we just pretty much camp out in our cars in the parking lot. As the years went on, I started collecting gear and kind of made this into an official camping trip. Some friends have come and gone. Uh, other friends have gone and then come back, which is really cool. Overall, over the last 35 plus years, I think 37 years now, um, I've only missed maybe about eight years, you know, and obvious ones like when my daughter was born or when I was getting married, things like that. It's created a bunch of great memories and great new friends. Now this year was supposed to be on paper one of the best surf weeks for our surf trip. The Sunday I was leaving for camping, I surfed Bolsa Chica and it was pretty darn good. Uh, a little wonky, but the size was there and so we were really looking forward to what was gonna happen uh, down south. So now looking at some of these waves at Bolsa, I almost thought maybe we should camp and then drive back up north because typically down south during the week uh, when it says the forecast is good the way you saw it it's really crowded but I knew Bolsa would probably be uh, relatively empty. Needless to say we went camping and it's always worth it. Uh, it wasn't as good uh, as I expected um, although the reports were good on paper they were probably fair and some spots were good but again super crowded so since I pretty much set up camp on Sunday I decided not to surf that day uh, at least not that evening and then ultimately ended up surfing San Onofre uh, on Monday morning after the crowds sort of died down so now the only footage I have of San O is going to be uh, POV. I had my GoPro, but I did not have my uh, solo shot set up. And as you can see from the footage, it's kind of a, a soft wave. Uh, so I took, I used the opportunity to work on cutbacks and kind of the Mick Fanning kind of wrapping turn. So I really worked uh, a lot, and I probably got like 40 tries at it. So. Turned out to be a really good day, and by the end of it, I thought I was doing a pretty good uh, turn, but by that time, my camera had died. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it's a pretty friendly wave. Now, one thing is, that guy fell. Uh, I didn't snake him. But it's one of the points I want to make. I noticed that, you know, a lot of times, these, uh, a lot of surfers, they don't turn around. Like, it's not proper etiquette to paddle for a wave but you should at least turn around because look there's two guys to my inside and this guy's taking off now I'm stalled ready to go that guy went right so those two guys actually that have my inside could have had the wave but because they didn't at least turn around they didn't get this wave and it was a pretty decent wave so it's just something I wanted to point out and it you know you guys should always do is at least turn around and be ready for it don't paddle if someone's already on it because you don't want to break their wave, but definitely be ready for it. So this now is the very next day, which is Tuesday. And as you can see, the, wave, the waves have come down and this is a different beach, a beach that, you know, whose name I can't say uh, because it's so top secret apparently. But anyways, as you can tell, as I mentioned, it's really wonky. There's no real cut lines. And anywhere there was, it was just crowded. 
And mind you, this is crowded here, but it's actually terrible. So it wasn't uh, the best uh, it could have been. I will go as far as to say I have surfed this beach on port or fair days that were more lined up than this. Uh, the size was nice, but the shape was terrible. So, I mean, I would rate this a very poor day for this beach. Anyways, um, I won't bore you with my frustrations, but you could tell from my body language I wasn't into it. But uh, still had fun. Uh, can't complain. I mean, ultimately, after this particular day, the surf dropped off so much that it was more about uh, the camping experience and just, you know, hanging out with my old high school friend and, and new friends and just chilling. So after this day, uh, the bulk of our crew had left. And so we were down to our skeleton crew, my old high school friend, uh, his cousin, uh, one of my, uh, our surf buddies. And so the four of us, this day we tried to get a campfire going and uh, we couldn't. So it was a rough night. But uh, yeah, we had good food, uh, good company, and lots of beers. Oh, and the evening skies weren't that shabby either. So here we are now at the very last surf session of our trip. And as you can see, the surf died down quite a bit. And there's absolutely no one out. <laughs> and rightfully so this is pretty much the way it looked now sets and this is mind you a, a big set for the day so it was a long time waiting and then every once in a while uh, sets would come in and so my friend and i luckily it was only he and i uh, we were able to get you know, a decent amount of waves and in fact i wish i had the footage i think i must have deleted it but uh, we did a style contest uh, a goofy style contest actually and we also did a switch contest so um, I actually tried for the very first time going switch here on uh, a short board and uh, yeah found that to be very interesting anyways it was a very very fun trip uh, surf could have been better but the weather was amazing so I can't complain so I hope this video wasn't too boring again like subscribe if you haven't already done so uh, or let the video play out but this is pretty much the way my uh, garage looks looked after I got back it was quite a mess and it took me quite some time to uh, put it all away thanks for watching everyone oh almost forgot so I was looking at this group site at the back of the campsite and I'm thinking about getting this next year and it can house up to I believe 40 people so if you happen to be interested in a camp out um, down south at the unnamed uh, beach, let me know. Uh, if you're on Instagram, DM me. If you're not on Instagram, uh, just find my email and send it to me. But uh, don't comment because if you've made it this far and you're still listening to this, um, you deserve to have this information. I want to keep the group as small and tight as possible.